the, for those of you who don't know, um, who don't know soccer, the, you know, the best by far was Brazil yesterday. Oh, my God. That was a fantastic game and one of the most beautiful goals, one of the most beautiful goals scored that you will ever see. Uh, it just gorgeous uh so uh if you have a chance try to go online or try to try to see it somewhere the second goal brazil won two nothing the second goal of the brazilian victory uh, the brazilian scores is just a a gem it is a beauty it is a testament to just the ability uh and the flair of, of brazilian uh football or soccer and um a lot of fun a lot of fun i really enjoyed that game uh, Brazil could have easily won that game seven nothing or something like that. They had tons of opportunities that they blew throughout the both the first and particularly the second half. Uh, but at least they won. I'm rooting for Brazil this World Cup. Hopefully, hopefully they they take the title. But um, it was truly uh, an amazing. I know Americans. They don't. Most of you don't care about uh, soccer. But um, yeah, that was a good game. And of course, uh, a little bit later today. We've got uh, the U.S. playing the U uh, England, not the U.K., because the U.K. has like four different teams, right? The U.K. has Eng England, Wales, Scotland, and, and I think Northern Ireland. They each have their own teams, uh, and uh, two of those teams are in the World Cup, Wales and England, and England is playing um, the American team, the U.S. team this afternoon. So that, that'll be fun to watch. And I have to admit there... That I'm rooting for for England, not just because I think they're a much better team. Uh, they have a chance of winning the whole thing. Uh, you know, an England Brazil finals. I don't know if that's even possible. A semifinals or something like that would be pretty pretty cool. So that's that's what I'm rooting for. Anyway, I, I encourage you I encourage you uh, to watch that. So um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but I do want to also use the opportunity of the World Cup to talk about a few other things relating to Qatar, um, which is the country in which these games are being held, a country that has uh, that is a, a dictatorship, a country that is uh, basically a theocracy, uh, that is run by uh, Sunni Muslims, uh, that treats its um, uh, kind of immigrant workers, its, its imported workers, primarily from Pakistan and from India, horribly, I mean, just, 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 horrifically, they have no rights, uh, they have no stand, illegal standing. Um, but also, uh, you know, this is a country that is unbelievably intolerant of because of its Muslim laws. So for example, Budweiser is a sponsor of the World Cup. It's one of the main sponsors of the World Cup. I think, I think some of the cups, some of the, the, some of the prizes that are being provided are called Budweiser prizes for different things. And um, like a week before the World Cup started, the Qataris said, oops, uh, we're not going to allow any beer sales in the stadium. The agreement had been that while there wouldn't be alcohol sold in Qatar, because that's illegal, uh, you will be able to sell beer in the stadium. Nope, that was banned. So here is Budweiser, the sponsor, and Budweiser's plastered everywhere, and they can't actually sell the beer. And here are the fans going to watch soccer, and they can't drink beer. I, I, don't, I don't know how they're managing uh, particularly those Northern Europeans, how, how can they even uh, manage to watch a whole game without without a pint of beer? But but that's just just one example of kind of the the, the randomness. I don't know contractually whether a Budweiser has any any claim against Qatar. I assume they do. I mean, I assume it was in their contract. But that's one example. Another example is uh, the ban in Qatar on flying the rainbow flag of LGBTQ plus. So uh, anybody seen with a LGBTQ uh, T-shirt, hat, flag, you know, so just the colors, doesn't even have to say anything, just the colors. Um, uh, the the, uh, the uh, item of clothing is confiscated. Luckily, it's very hot in Qatar, so if you lose your T-shirt, you can still survive. But um, they've, they've, uh, they've confiscated items of clothing, they've confiscated bucket hats, um, and uh, they've, they've confiscated, like, uh, armbands, uh, and uh, it, it, it's just been a constant conflict around LGBTQ, because remember, this is a culture 
that uh, stones homosexuals or drops them from high, uh, skyscrapers uh, to their death below or, or you know, basically kills them. So homosexuality is banned. Homosexuality is, uh, is something that uh, you get killed over. So this is where they're holding the World Cup. It, it is really hard to believe that this is, uh, this is the kind of place that FIFA, the organization that runs these things, has chosen uh, to run a World Cup, but but here we are. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is it. So um, anyway, sad, 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 sad. And and uh, I don't know. I, I I have to say that in spite of all that, I'm I'm still watching. Um, so, uh, but it, 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 it is pretty horrific that uh, that this this is one of the, some of the choices that uh, were made by, by FIFA. And, and, and by every measure or by every uh, suggestion, um, uh, corruption had a lot to do with this. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.